Hey, for this video I wanted to talk about something different. I wanted to share with you guys one particular package that I use that has saved me a lot of hassle over the years, at least a year and a half, because <laughs> uh, that's just for how long I've been using it. The package is called Projectile, and it's basically a package that allows you to easily, uh, you know, manage and uh, work with your projects. I specifically use it for my Git projects, but I'm pretty sure that you can set it up for any custom project that you can think of. So there are at least uh, you know three commands that I like to use. Uh, the first one being uh, projectile compile project. Now this thing it's basically a command that is run from the root directory of your project. So whatever you set in here is going to be run from there instead of. You know, if you have like a deep hierarchy of folders instead of your project, you don't really care in which uh, current path you're in because it's going to be run from that root directory. So if you run it, then you can see uh, the uh, the output on the on the right side of the screen. Now, it actually removed the lock, so I'm going to pull it out again. There we go. One good thing about it is that you can also see the errors from your compilation in there. So let's uh, say that I forgot to add this uh, semicolon at the end. Uh, so if I save the file and I try to recompile this thing, it's going to complain. And the good thing is that there's also another function called uh, next error and it's going to take you to whatever the, the the compiler thinks the error is and it's not always accurate because it's you know the, the error itself is telling you that you know there was an comma or a semicolon expected before the if right so anyway you can add it and you can you know you can save the, the buffer you can recompile and that's fine now one other useful really useful command that I use and I mean, if, if your project is not big enough, uh, maybe you don't struggle with this. But in some of the projects that I've been working on, there's a huge amount of files that I need to look through in order to, you know, debug the whole thing. Especially if it's, uh, you know, a web development project uh, where you don't have, you know, I mean, you do have some sort of breakpoints with the, you know, Chrome console or whatever. I mean, it's a, it's a real pain to set up sometimes. But anyway, that other command that I'm talking about is projectile find file and what this does it basically takes all of the visible, uh, visible files in your project so if you have a git ignore file setup it's gonna ignore those so you don't have to worry about it and it's gonna go you know recursively you know in all of the folders of your project so you can easily navigate through them so I can open up you know the history events uh, uh, I know I'm history slash events.cpp and I can still run the compile command from here and it's going to compile the main cpp in the root directory so that's a really neat uh, feature so the other command that I use I use it to I mean frequently pretty much all the time it's called projectile run project so this is the same deal it's just going to run a shell command from the root directory of the project in this case, I'm going to call it so that it executes a.out and it's going to be, you know, the output from the other videos that uh, I've been doing. I don't know why, why it closed. So maybe there was an error with the... Um, yeah, there, there was a problem with the window manager, you know. But anyways, I can just close it. and. I mean, like I said, that, that is a really useful package if you're not using it. I think you should definitely check it out. If you know you have a question or something that I can help you with, let me know and I'll try my best to assist you. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.